if we're being real, it's getting hot in here. Try that again. That was kind of weird. Yeah, I know. It was kind of If we're being real, it's getting hot in here. Hotter than an ant under a magnifying glass. Man, people do that all the time, man. Those ants aren't happy. That's messed up. Nope, and they're pretty <laughs> hot, too. <laughs> That's right. It's hot take Tuesday. Let's go. All right, do you want to go first or me? Let me just go first. I want to get mine out of the way. Do it. All right, NFL hot take today. Dun, dun, and dun. frankly, half the NFL will be happy with this hot take. It's really not that hot. All right. But I'm already sick and tired of this freaking Taylor Swift, oh, Travis Kelsey stuff. It's <laughs> ridiculous. I was watching clips from before the Jets-Chiefs game where people were asking fans why they are there. And you know what? The majority of them freaking said Taylor Swift. They were selling out seats just because they wanted to go there for Taylor Swift. It wasn't even to watch the freaking game. And then they went and asked a bunch of the fans if they would rather have their team win the Super Bowl that year or get front row seats to the Taylor Swift concert. And I was disgusted with how many said front row seats to Taylor Swift. It was nonsense. There wasn't a bunch of NFL fans there. There were a bunch of Taylor Swift Swifties and just a bunch of freaking nonsense. I hated it. Hated watching it. Hate this for the NFL. I think this is a bunch of eyes on the NFL, but it's alienating a lot of the NFL fans, and it's bringing Swifties in for absolutely no freaking reason. It's terrible, and just wait until they break up, because then that's going to be even worse for the NFL. See, that's my biggest thing with this. So the NFL actually released a statement. I don't know if you've seen this, but they released a statement saying that they are not overdoing the whole Taylor Swift thing and that they're, you know, just going to go in with it and they're going to keep promoting it that way. And in one aspect, it does make sense. But in another aspect, it doesn't. Because what you're doing is you are superficially inflating your numbers, but you're not actually getting true people. I mean, maybe you are getting some people that will stick with football for a while, but I kind of doubt it. The people that are watching, yeah, you're making more money right now, but the people that are watching are not watching because of football. And so if they break up or if Taylor Swift stops going to games or if, I don't know, say a month down the road and it's no longer new, they're going to not care as much. And then guess what? Your number is going to go back down and you're still probably going to annoy some of your actual fans. I cannot wait until the numbers crash and they're going to be sitting there being like, oh, that's weird. Our numbers are down. Let's try to figure out what it is. Maybe we can pay these guys more money. Maybe we can make them rest less. Maybe we can do this. Maybe we can do that. They're not even going to mention Taylor Swift at that point because they're going to highlight how good they did this year. There's a reason they're doing so good. Freaking Taylor Swift. She needs to get out of the NFL, go back under a rock wherever she came from, and guess what? It was on the private jet where she was giving more emissions than any other person. Did you hear the conspiracy theory about that? So they said... We talking about conspiracy theories right now? Yeah, you know, I'm bringing it up. She is, you know, big on global warming and stuff and has the most emissions on her private jet. And everyone was Googling this. So everyone says her response to the situation was to go to the Jets game so that when people Google Taylor Swift jet, it comes up Chiefs versus Jets. Okay, well, that's not why she went to the game. No, but it's pretty fun. It's Anyways, pretty what, what's your hot take? <laughs> My hot take today is about the MLB. Are we going to be talking about the playoffs right now? No, but there is something. Did you hear about the Tampa Bay Rays and how their combined – fans showing up was not even as much as some teams one game attendance was cannot wait for them to be in nashville they're creating a new stadium in tampa bay it's ridiculous i can't believe they're doing that anyway i know i think the marlins are going to be that team that ends up moving but regardless they the rays literally don't put money into their team i know they're building a new stadium but they don't put money into getting really high paid athletes which is crazy because they still perform amazing but they're a team that doesn't put a lot of money into it, so they could easily slip into the phase of just constantly rebuilding. Mm -hmm. But they don't have any fans. Yeah, no. I mean, 19,000 and 20,000 people showed up. So, like, obviously those are fans. But compared to the other stadiums, it's nothing. Yeah. Like we talked about. But um, I want to bring up some rating stuff. And do you remember when we brought up that we think it was a quick little – boost at the beginning of the year just to see what the the new rules look like and how the oh, game yeah, yeah, yeah. look like do you have stats on that i do have a stat now again if you look this up you're not really going to see a whole lot one the all-star activities were way down but good the all-star activities are just yeah 
each sports all-star activities is way down. Baseball is probably the best out of all of them, too. Mm -hmm. And it's still not entertaining when they take away stakes from it. Which is sad. But I want to bring up something that ESPN released. ESPN's Major League Baseball coverage this season averaged 1.41 million viewers. 1.41 million sounds like an okay number. But did you know that it is down 2% from last year? And it is down 5% on their Sunday night baseball coverage. That is a lot. So the rules that they said was going to boost the game and boost the viewership? Nope. This year, it's down 2% and 5%. Now I can't I haven't been able to see other ones to see if other other networks are having the same issues but from ESPN's they're admitting that it's down 2% and 5%. You know what we should do to counteract that? I have a theory. Let's cut the game down to 3 innings. Let's make a 5 second pitch clock and let's make you never stop on a base. You just have to keep running until you get tagged out. That would be fun. Game would be over in probably 10 minutes. I like that. I think we should do that next year. What do you think? I mean, <laughs> you get a couple viewers for the first couple weekends. <laughs> I'd tune in for about, well, the game would probably be 10 minutes. So I'd tune in for about 10 minutes, see what happens, and then I'd never watch it again. Yeah, no commercial breaks. Got to keep them interested. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Changing the rules to make more viewers, and then you go down 2 and 5%, was it? That's ridiculous. Absolutely insane. We predicted this earlier this year, right at the beginning of the season, and I'm very glad that some stats are being re- released about that. I'm surprised they haven't showed more stats, honestly, but at the same time, I'm not surprised because they want to hide the fact that it's doing sucky. Yep. And I've honestly, I've been keeping eyes on this. They literally released this a week ago. Like when we're recording this, they released it a week ago. So they weren't exactly forthright about it. They waited a while. They waited the entire year. They didn't give an update. And do you want to know why they didn't give an update? Because the numbers weren't doing what they wanted them to. Well said. All right. That's it for today. Love us. Hate us. It don't matter. We're just being real.